here we go, about to start the track. Wibbly wobbly suspension bridge. So far it's very easy, nice walking pathway. Suspension bridge again. So nice here. Right on down. The track is now getting rougher and steeper. Oh, there's even a toilet out here. Sappers Pass. Forge Flat. Uh, super, super nice! Thank you for the many, many suspension bridges. Avalanche warning. Today is the first day of the official season, November 1st. But there's still avalanche dan danger Steep out here. Steep up, up, up. I'm not used to having such a heavy pack. And uh, this climb is pretty tough for me. At least I can relax for a moment and take a look at this view. Wibbly wobbly. And there is the flat area that I've been climbing up from. And still up, up, up. It's rock. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Wow. Yikes. Arriving at Root Bairn Falls hut area. Welcome to the hut. Root Bairn Falls. My waterfall snack is couscous. Good to know. This is my ticket. Take much for a few people to sort of tie them up. Today is day number two. Good morning. Packed up and ready to go. Morning. Stop. Think. It's good to me. It is just such a lovely morning. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm steep and rocky climb up. Now I'm following these orange markers in the Alpine region. So quiet and calm and peaceful here. Love it. Here is a trap for the naughty animals that don't belong. The trail is rough, but uh, still manageable with a heavy pack. On the boardwalk, have some fun. Getting a little bit windy now. Big rock the valley that I climbed out of. Trail goes through here. Cool. It's taken me about an hour to climb this far out of the valley. But I still have to go up and over. This. Well, I better have a break here. Snow! What? Look at this leg into the valley. Woo. Uh, yeah, this hike is ridiculous. Harris Saddle Emergency Shelter. Let's check it out. I did walk shelter in the shelter for everybody else. The shelter is empty. The guided tour one has juice and snacks. And then you see like, you know, ladies. <laughs> Alpine buttercup flower. Cute. track. Uh oh, there's a big group coming down up ahead. Just came from there, a bit of a traffic jam. Just passed a group of guided walkers with day packs and um, some cool school kids with uh, big packs, not on the guided walk. I was just in a super exposed area and it was so windy. I couldn't breathe. I just got out of there as quick as possible. Now I'm uh, sheltered by the rock and it's much, much better. Pineapple plant. Coming down from there and continuing down to there. Back in the forest. This forest is a magical place.
this is the kitchen building. Up above is bunk room number one where I'm staying. And then this is the bathroom building. And then over here is bunk room number two. And that one has all communal beds, no bunk beds. So I'm very lucky to have a bottom bunk up here. Won the lottery. Inside the bunk room. You got long bunks there and regular bunk beds here. Creamy mashed potatoes and Tahitian coconut tuna. Here is the kitchen at Mackenzie Hut and there are many different cooking places for people. No soap and shampoos please in the lake. Here is the lake. Too cold for swimming. That's a pity. I have a magazine, my water bottle, and I'm going for a little walk on a side trail because lots of time until nightfall. This is Mackenzie Campsites. And here is Split Rock. Kinda cool. Ooh, there's an echo. Cool, cool, cool. I took a towel bath earlier when I arrived. Now I'm all sweaty from getting here, but really cool, so worth it. Almost back from the Split Rock track. I left my water bottle and the magazine I found in the hut because I needed it in my hands. <clears throat> my relaxing spot and wait until you see my view. This is in front of me right now in this comfy seat on the grass. Love it. On the way back to the hut. Where it gets to you. Let me give you the information that I hope will allow you to have a safe, enjoyable stay here. Because I think that's pretty important and I hope you agree. It's raining outside. And I don't want to leave. Rainy and cold morning. I'm all kitted up and headed to the divide. My pickup is not until 3.15, so I can leisurely take my time because it's, I don't know. That's the guided walks lodge where they have fine dining and wine and linen. Definitely more challenging when it's wet and slippery. Danger, danger. Misty, cloudy, and rainy. Now at Howden Hut, there's one hour walk until the end. It's 11 o'clock, but the pickup doesn't come until 3 or 3.30, so gotta wait here. At least it's out of the rain. There's changing rooms here in the shelter. This is a Kia. Uh, it's the Arteryx flask, which With apparently is really cool. Uh, everyone likes the rum. It's got that, yummy rum in it. There we go. Congratulations! Made it!